Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made these four easy Halloween designs. You'll notice this icing is thicker than what I normally use to flood a cookie. This is probably closer to piping consistency and I normally use 20 second consistency. Um, this is not ideal to flood a cookie, but you can definitely make it work. You can either uh, just quickly use your scribe tool to smooth it out, or what I did with this cookie is I picked it up and shook the cookie, which will help the icing smooth out a little quicker. You'll want to let that first section crust over before moving on, and then just use that same icing to flood the top section and then also the bottom feet of the cauldron. So you'll notice I went in and I thought I had enough icing. I ended up thinking it needed more, so I added a little bit more um, for those feet. Now for the green potion part of the design, I just used piping consistency icing um, and just kind of worked in sections. I would just do bigger circles and smaller circles and then use my scribe tool to kind of flatten out the tip um, of the icing. When I would pull the bag up, it would leave a tip. And so I would just kind of flatten that out a little bit um, and then just work my way down the side of the cauldron. Next up is the broom, and this is a really simple, quick design. I just used brown icing for the handle. Um, once that had crusted over, I went in with thick yellow icing and just um, kind of shaped it where it would look like, like a, a broom normally does, where it's got the bristles at the top, and then I had them kind of flowing out at the bottom, and I left a little bit of space there for lines to go horizontal. Um, and then I just kind of layered them where it looked a little more um, 3D. So there's going to be a lot of bristles there. Okay, for the bat design, you'll also notice this flood icing is a little thicker than what I normally use. I kind of had a running theme um, with this video with my flood icing being too thick. But again, you just can use your scribe tool to smooth that out quickly or pick the cookie up and gently shake it and it will smooth the icing out. Um, I was just being a little bit lazy with these designs and I was wanting to get the icing to work for more than one thing. For the detail work on the bat, I used that exact same icing just in a smaller tip. Um, so this is piping consistency and I'm just outlining uh, the wings and the body, just kind of trying to make it look as bat-like as possible. The last design in the set is the ghost, and I think this is the only one where I used a good consistency for this flood. This is what I normally use, which is called 20 second consistency. Um, and so you're just gonna outline and flood immediately, and you'll see it just melds together really quickly and sets up really well. And you'll want to let this set before moving on to the next step. Once the icing has dried for six to eight hours, go in with an edible marker and draw on the eyes and the mouth. Use that same black piping consistency icing and draw a line going across the ghost. 
then go in with your edible marker and draw kind of a guideline of where you're gonna have the banners go. Grab whatever color icing you want and fill in those banners. And then once those have fully dried, we'll go in and write the word boo across them. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and for being here. It really means so much to me. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I have several more Halloween designs coming up before moving into fall and Christmas, so lots of good videos coming your way. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.